Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learning. This is video number 31 or 32. I think 31. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create the student um, profile. You can say that. Basically, we do have information about students, which class student has enrolled in. So we will create uh, a profile, which, you know, we can print it and we can share it with others. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload any video. Right, I have created a query. You can see that here. And this query consists of all the students who have taken admission in this institute. So, we are going to convert this information onto a nice little report which will then can be printed printable right so let's do that and uh, instead of creating the report from the scratch well if you have to create you can click create here and you can go to the report section create a report design from here and then you have to do a lot of formatting if you want to learn how to do that you can learn on this channel and you can watch video number perhaps 27 8 in which i have demonstrated that however in this video what i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the existing report Control c Control v and i'm going to uh, create a copy of that so the benefit of doing that is that i don't have to do the formatting However, I have to do a little bit of, uh, uh, you can say, cleanup. So, for example, I'll delete these. I think this information is required if I go to the admission with subject. So, you can see that, you know, uh, student ID, student name, registration, roll number. These things are already here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to maybe, okay, I'll i'll show you i thought i'll keep some of this here <laughs> but all right i'll show you from the scratch first let's get rid of the query or the data source that we already have binded this report with so we remove this and that's it we will call it student profile okay that makes sense all right now let's bind this with this query and to do that i'll select the report we'll go to data tab dot 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 and i'll get this query here and we get all the uh, fields basically so i'll select all or do I have to do one by one? Well, you can do all as well, and you can do one by one like this, where I'm demonstrating. Okay. So we have class name, I think, until class name. Yes. And subject ID, section name, subject name, status. Looks exactly same. There is no difference. Anyway. We'll go here and we then go to report design, add existing fields. And now we fetch this fields here so we can create a nice looking report. Okay. So the idea is on the left side, we keep the student profile. Okay. And also, by the way, you don't want to get everything onto the report for example country of birth place of birth eh, well not really required um father name yes that may be required okay we get this uh, registration number roll number on this side because remember on the left side we're keeping the uh, journal details and on the right side of the report we'll have um academic details okay so that's why registration roll number this side father name here 
all right city town well, let's leave that uh, class name all right for which class the student has enrolled in and then we will have section uh, sorry status here and then we have the uh, section name perhaps section name we can bring it here subject name also and then the subject ID here as well okay so we are pretty much done with getting what we need onto the report right click layout and stack go to home tab little formatting as you know we do that and go to arrange we control the padding to narrow and the same here we right click layout stack them go to home a little bit of formatting go to arrange control padding narrow simple we select all we go to report design property sheet format and we change the height to 0.3 we come down here and we add a little bit of margin here okay so unselect all and then select the fields that i need to extend their width okay and uh, just aligning everything that is needed to be aligned so this here and we can move this a little bit here and i'll tell you why anyway so we extend the width and we extend the width of labels a little bit as well by the way the last video that i have published only very few of you have watched why what's the reason do you don't want to see the reports if you don't want i will stop making all right but these videos requires a lot of effort to make so you know at least a little bit of return from you guys would be always better all right that's just uh, my point of view okay so we select these labels as well we make them bold and we extend their width as well so we can give a little bit of spacing in between wherever the spacing is required so class name all right and the status as well okay and i think we are done with that now let's come and fix these so first of all we change the color and then right click layout and we make it tabular okay now we select the labels and we bring them here because they are right on the top and then we align them like this here here we go by the way the subject id comes here okay and we give a proper spacing so subject id generally is not really a uh, very wider field this make it as wider all right i think uh, you know it, what would be good is to uh, in fact mention some details about why that subject is important what will be taught in that subject you know you can do that as well for parents for students to know uh, what is coming i think that would be really a good touch that you know give a little bit of detail of what to expect anyway so we you know maybe we can increase the width of these two let's say right now okay maybe two maybe 2.3 yep i think something like that just to extend uh, the 2.35 
और टू पॉइंट थ्री सेवन एनी यू कैन नॉट जस्ट दी विट सो वी सेलेक्ट ऑल वी गो टू फॉर्मेट एंड शेप आउटलाइन एंड वी मेक इट लिटल लाइटर कलर एज दैकग्राउंड यू मे नॉट फील इट इन द वीडियो बट देर इज अ बॉर्डर कलर दैट इज बिट लाइटर and i like that color also so it gives a little nice professional looking feel so we'll get a line here for each subject and we put it here there you go let's make it uh, you know white alternate color also white so we don't want any colorful information on there let's go and view the report there you go very nice looking report now a little bit of adjustment we have to make and that is the subject id okay so we go here design view and we go here and maybe okay let's look at this there you go now i want subject id to be uh, properly sorted okay so we go to design we go to report any time you want to do grouping or sorting you come here and you add a sort and in here you can say i want to sort by subject id and i want to keep the smallest on the la smallest on the top and largest on the bottom so let's see how it looks like report view and there you go you can see smallest on the top and larger on the bottom okay now this this does not mean that this student will have to take all these subjects no not really this is happening because uh, we haven't put any sort of criteria in the report and that's what we are going to do other thing i want you to pay attention is you know this caption we have to change so we go to re uh, report design and we come here and we say student student profile okay i think we don't need to export this information in excel so we get rid of this button but let's see the code behind it and we delete that code as well so we we don't have a redundant code lying around and we keep the print uh, code there and we move the button towards right there you go now let's go and put a criteria so i want this report to open from the students form right so there is a form called students so from there this report should open so we'll say forms exclamation mark students f exclamation mark student id there you go so let's close that and now if i open it will ask me what's the student id all right so let's go ahead and uh, go to student form design view and uh, here we already have a button that is for uh, admission form r oh well, that's not the what report it is showing uh, i think this is meant for this report right student profile so we can come here and we can do the coding sorry by the way if you got confused what i did right there i actually created button before making video created button there put some code i was doing some testing you know i have to do it right and that's why this button already exists but you can copy the button make a button and then we can go on the back of the button and we can give a line of code to cmd dot to cmd dot open a report and we have to give a report name so the report name would be student profile okay there you go comma we want to view the report when it opens so that's why we select this Now let's close that let's uh let's test it so we go to main 
we go to manage students and let's say we select this student and we click on view admission certificate and we have this information coming in okay student four name four only one subject this student well that's practically that's not really reality but you know the idea is to show you that uh, this student is not confirmed so that's why their information doesn't display remember only the students whose information is whose uh, um, admission is confirmed their information will be displayed so you can see status is confirmed right and this student will learn mathematics physics computer science general knowledge calligraphy ict lab chemistry biology and a whole lot of other things and you can see on the top registration detail and the um, journal details if you think this report looks very blank you can do the coloring for sure um, you know not nothing will stop you doing that so that's what i wanted to demonstrate i hope that you have learned something mm -hmm. and by the way this will be last report and i'm going to close this uh, project in the next video okay and uh, we will then start a new project i've been getting a lot of emails messages for the hospital management system so we'll explore what else we can build and uh, i want your support to uh, subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon give me in the comments below what you what did you learn from these videos or these videos uh, that will be really appreciated thank you and i'll see you in the next one until then bye bye